Daylight Saving Time. What is it and when is it? In the United States, Daylight Saving Time occurs on the second Sunday of March and the first Sunday of November. In March, the clock moves forward one hour. And in November, the clock moves back one hour, gaining an extra hour of sleep. In the United States, there are six different time zones. The Pacific time zone covers the West Coast. Around the Rockies is the Mountain time zone. Central time encompasses much of the central United States. The Eastern time zone covers the Eastern seaboard. Outside the contiguous United States, Alaska and Hawaii practice their own time zones. Not all countries in the world participate in daylight saving time. Taking a deeper look into countries and continents, you may notice that some areas decide for themselves. For example, in the US, the states of Hawaii and most of Arizona do not change their clocks every year, mainly due to long hours of daylight and the pricey cost of air conditioning. Arizona in particular is a fascinating case as it includes the Navajo Nation, highlighted in yellow on the map. The Navajo Nation does participate in daylight saving time, while the state of Arizona does not. What is even more interesting is that the Hopi Reservation, surrounded by the Navajo Nation, also does not adhere to daylight saving time. This means if you were able to drive from one side of the Navajo Nation through the Hopi Reservation and back into Navajo land, you would change time zones several times in less than 100 miles. Countries closer to the equator do not have daylight saving time compared to other countries that are farther from the equator. This is because the closer you are to the equator, the less seasons you have. Countries farther from the equator, like the northern US or Canada, do have seasonal changes, and having daylight saving time does make a difference. Now, let us look at this time graph between New York, London, and Sydney. Each city in their respective country does have daylight saving time, but it occurs at different points of time. For example, starting on day one, New York will be 16 hours behind Sydney. Once New York changes to daylight saving time, there's now 15 hours between New York and Sydney. 20 days later, London changes its clock. Now London went from 11 hours behind Sydney to only 10. 20 days or about three weeks later, Sydney moves its clock. Now it is 14 hours between New York City. Then six months later, the entire process happens in reverse. This can be very confusing when trying to schedule meetings or talking with family members between different time zones throughout the year. Gee, it was even difficult trying to explain it. Daylight saving time appears to have both positive and negative effects on people in the world. And depending upon where you live, this may or may not affect you. The public has expressed concerns about these time confusions and proposed laws have even made it all the way to the US Congress. In 2022, the US Senate unanimously passed the Sunshine Protection Act, a bill that would end daylight saving time by November of 2023. The bill is currently being considered by the House of Representatives, where debates continue. So, which is better? Having daylight saving time all year round or how it currently is? Let us first look at the negative effects. The months following November, specifically the first week, show that, statistically, more people are less productive. There are also higher rates of heart attacks and suicide. There are positive effects, however, during daylight saving time. People are more likely to spend money at night because it is daylight out, which makes people generally happier, making them want to spend more. People also get more exercise at night if the days are longer since there is more sunlight available to them. Let us know in the comments if you think that daylight saving time should remain in place or be removed entirely. This is meteorologist Joseph Trujillo Falcon at MyRadar.